It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hop Nation Brewing Company and it's a can of their The Damned Pilsner. Coming in a 375 milliliter can. Looks really nice. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, there we go. I want to say a massive thank you to Mick in Australia for sending us the beer. Cheers, Mick. Smells really hoppy. Uh, two finger, white head, good levels of carbonation. Hazy looking pilsner. In terms of colour, I'm going to say it is straw coloured, but it's hazy. It is a straw coloured pills but it's hazy, but that that for me is fantastic. It means that they, they haven't filtered the beer out too much, so you're gonna, you should be getting a lot of flavour from this pills now. And indeed, even from this distance here, I'm picking up lovely hoppy kind of tones. Let's get my nose into it then. Oh, it smells really good. It's just got that kind of crispness that you expect from a Pilsner. But at a nice level in terms of kind of a craft beer level where everything's ramped up a notch. You know, the volume's been turned up. So a slight nettliness, a slight spiciness, a slight tropical tone to it. Ooh, gonna dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Straight back in for a second sip. That is fantastic. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fantastic beer. Crisp, refreshing. Of course, with a Pilsner. Super cold. Chill that one right down. It's got a slight kind of herbalness to it, kind of spiciness, pepperiness to it um, with the hops used. It's nettily. Extremely drinkable, nice light malts used in the beer, like crisp kind of wafer flavour coming through with the sweetness on the malt and then a nice bitterness on the back end with the with the hops. It's it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful pilsner. And I well I can only imagine I can only imagine how well this sells in Australia. Lovely size can, freezing cold, 4.8% ABV. It's ticking boxes, you know, nice boxes ticked. Is it nice and hoppy? Yes. Is it got a nice kind of drinkable refreshingness to it? Yes. Is it got a nice ABV? Because let's face it, the competition, the mainstream competition in, in Australia, will be producing their pilsners and lagers at about 4%, maybe 4.5 at a push. So to get this at 4.8%, it's a little stronger. It's a little bit more kind of craft centric, if that makes sense. Everything's bock. Everything's ticked. The whole thing's ticked with this. Nice balance with the sweetness of the like cracker bread malts over here, um, and then you got the like herbal, spicy, peppery, stinging nettle hop flavour there. Just to balance things out. It's it's a cracker of a beer, it really is. <clears throat> Hop Nation Brewing Company is a Melbourne based brewing company specialising in the production of small batch beers. Take out Pilsner daily for the woes of thirst. <laughs> Beer profile, an Eastern European style Pilsner with a modern hoppy twist, crisp and refreshing with a distinct New Zealand hop profile showcasing Motowika and Rowika hops. Be damned if you do, be damned if you don't. <laughs> Cheers, Sam and Doug. 
So these new world hops then, Motowika. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, they're, they're in there. Um, with the pills now, I like to kind of concentrate on the kind of the what makes a really good pills there, and then we can we can add on bits later on in the review. So yeah, add into that, you definitely get a nice touch of. I'm going to go with passion fruit and mango. It's not huge. It's not massive. There's a nice hit of it, but it's not crazy, crazy hoppy. A nice beer. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside out, releases more of the flavour. A really good pilsner. Really good pilsner. Now, um, yeah, I want to say at this stage, um, Mick has sent me some old beers. I posted them on Instagram just yesterday, so I plan on posting this beer review tonight. Um, but he sent me some more beers and I was kind of confused. And I don't mind being honest with people. <coughs> I always like to be honest. I got two senders now from Australia. I've got Mick who's been sending me beer for years. And I've got Travis who's been sending me beers for probably the last six to eight months. And in all honesty, um, I've had these beers for about two months I reckon, about two months I've had this and as, as you all know I get sent a lot of beer and I just got a bit confused as to who sent me the beer and I realised that it was Mick because Mick has sent me some Hop Nation beers before, the Jedi beer. There was a Star Wars themed beer that Mick sent me ooh, two years ago. I had, I had, I actually reviewed the beer in their hairdressers um, around the around the corner. Um, but yeah, that, yeah. Long story short, Mick sent me this beer, and not Travis. So my apologies. I just, I just held on to it, thinking, oh, I'm stuck. I've kind of forgotten and I just thought well I'm sure you know these people are, are decent people they're nice enough people Mick sent me more beer so he's, he's obviously not too upset by um, me holding on to this beer for a little while I've just been with lockdown with the whole situation um, I've been really busy I expected it to go really quiet I'm still at some stage expecting it to go massively quiet I think we're gonna have like they call it the dead cat bounce um, Everybody was fearful March, April regarding breweries and beer. Um, everybody's drinking at home and we were all furloughed. Everybody had a lot of money to, to spend on beer and pub sheds and everything else. Um, pumping the economy full of money, if you like. Um, that was my experience of the whole thing. But I still think when all of this situation, and I'm sorry if you've come here to get away from all of this situation, but I'm going to be very quick with it. Um, once all of these furlough schemes get taken away, I think, and, and unfortunately um, we're already seeing lots of job losses, um, then I think we're going to see not so much beer about in the, in the world, if that, if that makes sense. Um, why did I start talking about that? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, just... So I've got, that's it basically, I've got over the busy period. I, I can feel, I feel like I've got over the busy period. My beer stocks are winding down. Um, it's not it's not as crazy as it was March, April, May, June, July. They were whirlwind months for the channel. I'm not standing here complaining for one minute. Um, I've enjoyed the ride. Um, I just needed to keep hold of my control a bit better with the beer stock. That that would be the only criticism on my part for the last few months is. I wish I rotated everything a bit better. I was just bunging stuff in fridges and not rotating. And if you've ever worked in a supermarket, if you've ever worked in retail, they'll always tell you to rotate. And I want I haven't done I haven't done the best job of rotating my, my beer stocks. <laughs> so anyway, rate in for this beer. The Dam Pilsner by Hop Nation Brewing Company. It's a fabulous Pilsner. Fabulous Pilsner. For me, 
That is one of the best Pilsners I've ever had on the channel. It's crisp, it's refreshing, it's hoppy, incredibly drinkable, beautiful carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. Lovely kind of new world motor week of hops coming through on the back end. Passion fruit and mango. I'm gonna go 10 out of 10. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.